Hail and well met friends, and Dang here on the beta server for the first video. There is a nice shot of Edoras kicking things off here as we are here uh, getting ready to start an epic battle. This will be our first uh, video coming with Helm's Deep. Alright, and so this is the new epic battle system uh, template where we have uh, the battle for Helm's Deep up there at the top, Road to Battle. And we have the different uh, battles. So there's Helm's Dyke, which is 1, 2, and 6, man. There's Deeping Wall, which is 1, 2, and 12. There's Deeping Coom, which is just 1 and 2. There's Glittering Caves, which is 1, 2, 3. And then there's the Hornburg, which is just 1 and 2. So we're going to go ahead and start with Helm's Dyke. But first, before we go to that, let's show the new uh, promotions panel what coming with uh, uh, Epic Battles and Helm's Deep. And uh, there are the three different tiers, the Vanguard Officer and Engineer. With the Vanguard, you get every enemy that you get a killing blow on. Uh, you basically get these uh, skills that you can use that are actually... Um, currently, they're balanced about the same as the top-end DPS skills for champions. For guardians, these skills would be just amazing. And uh, yeah, it would be really good. And then for the Officer, you have all these different uh, banner things. It's kind of like the uh, Captain or the Skirmish uh, controller for the entire uh, army that you're fighting with. And then there's also the Engineer, which has all sorts of traps, plus you can get uh, cooldowns on commanding catapults, and you can actually place down uh, siege weaponry anywhere um, beyond just the stuff that exists there already naturally in the world. And then you have all your different uh, battle history perks and uh, achievements on the final tab here. And as you can see, I've gotten two gold medals, six silver, and zero bronze. And uh, gotten some uh, platinum medals with some gold and stuff like that. But these are your overall um, achievement rewards and locks. And then these down here are what you've done the entire time. So I've gotten nine platinum, seven golds. Uh, two silver and three bronze there. And uh, just a reminder that everything is subject to change. Uh, one thing real quick, uh, there are these reward things and you can actually, um, basically how these work is once you uh, get enough bronze points you unlock a bronze reward and it'll go into your inventory and you get it. Or you can actually switch it to go on to where it'll just pass on the experience to the next tier and you can do that all the way up to gold which is very nice. And uh, then there's Platinum. Now you can't pass experience on from Gold to Platinum, so the Platinum rewards are going to be the big uh, things that you will really want to uh, strive for. Alright, so I'm getting ready to be go into an epic battle with Athelros, so welcome Athelros. <coughs> Hello. Alright, are you ready for an epic battle? I definitely am. All right, let's go ahead and read the quest text here. Helm's Dyke forms the first barrier of defense for Rohan's final stand. The re rear guard left here must buy time for the defenders to prepare the fortress and wall for the oncoming siege. Saruman's army marches, angry and ready for war. All right, let's go ahead and go. And so we are going to be auto-leveled uh, up to 95. Characters uh, starting at level 10 can join in epic battles and be auto-leveled all the way up to level 95. That means you can join new players uh, with your existing friends in the epic battle system at cap and uh, maybe you haven't even made it to cap and you're around level 40 or something you can still join in it's any level between level 10 and 95 which it will is... also increase your virtues up to 14 that's right yeah automatically and uh, it also increases uh, not the stats on your weapons but it increases the uh, the effectiveness that way you're not just completely out of armor right away and <laughs> your weapons can still do some decent damage but it's still not as good as if you were a level 95 character which is understandable because otherwise why would you want to go to 95 so definitely a good incentive there all right so here you can see the new uh, engineering panel if you're in engineering uh, stance each of the different uh, Stances have their own little panel that look completely different from each other, actually. And, uh, yeah, so we're getting ready to start an epic battle, and Athelros has already ran off somewhere. Um, I'm going to talk... placing traps down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk to Gambling, and uh, hope that he wants to talk to me. Glad to see how you are here to aid the defense. We need all the able bodies we can to help. I believe we have a few moments before the enemy will march. Take them and inspect the line. 
When you are satisfied, come back. We shall confer. Be hasty. Time is not on our side. Alright, yeah, we inspected the line. Let him come. Knock your arrows, Rohirrim. The enemy marches. The enemy is massing and depressing and preparing his assault. Ready your defenses. Alright, and Ethelros had the right idea. The enemy is marching on that side of the battlefield, and you can tell by these new uh, icons uh, that tell you exactly where the enemy is marching. And it looks that like. That was he... totally intentional. That's right, and it looks like uh, there are already barricades, and you can see the scale here with all these soldiers uh, getting ready to fight. And uh, yeah, I believe that you might have placed down a barricade, but uh, anyway. Let's continue on to the other place. So in uh, duos, at least, there are uh, two places to defend usually. Sometimes just one. But uh, in this battle, you're always defending uh, two locations with your uh, ally. Or if you're solo, then it can be kind of difficult. Uh, you have to kind of go back and forth between the two. But uh, yeah, and let's go ahead and show the commander stuff here. And I know this is probably a lot to take in, so you might want to rewind it, pause it, uh, play back through just to make sure that uh, you understand everything that's going on. If you have any questions at all about Helm's Deep, feel free to ask them, and if we don't know the answers, we'll try to find them for you. And we can see the enemy uh, preparing to march there. And here's the new uh, commander panel, where uh, instead of having to select each individual soldier, which would just be a nightmare, you can just select the commander who's ahead of uh, a few soldiers, and you can tell him to heal, make haste, so uh, move quicker do more damage or get some defensive armor and I'm gonna go ahead and give him some armor now these are on a cooldown so you probably want to stack them at the beginning so that you can use them again later alright and here we see the uh, my stun trap that I placed as an engineer uh, knocking down the enemies here and we have some uh, warriors coming into the fight uh, it's just the basic orc enemy which is no match for the champion of Eriador and the lore master of wherever you're from <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, place the stun traps a little bit further up. It looks like these soldiers are moving a little far forward. There we go, Got some stuns. And the cool part about the uh, stun traps, at least on beta right now, is there are very small cooldowns with them. So you can actually place an induction time. So you can actually place them right in the middle of a group of enemies and have them all stun at once. I've seen over 20 uh, orcs being stunned all at once by one trap placement. So definitely cool. New system they also, to Lotro. Uh, seem to last forever too. So you can, uh, if it doesn't get completely depleted in terms of triggers, then it can stay there forever. Yeah, it can stay there forever as long as uh, the uh, it's just a use counter and uh, as you upgrade it you get so many uses that uh, they become hard to uh, remove it so if, unless you have a really well placed one that attracts the attention of all of them and uh, as you can see the AI has kind of changed uh, you notice that I'm not really taking any damage here um, which uh, makes you probably want to go into a more DPS stance um, and the enemies the basic grunts go for the uh, basic grunts and the com enemy commanders go for our commanders, which are very dangerous. Also, sappers try to go for banners, so there's a whole AI structure, and you have to watch and uh, take notice of what is uh, coming your way so that you can effectively uh, protect your soldiers and help them be the most effective. You will learn to hate goblins. <laughs> you will learn to hate goblins, that is right. Definitely true. All right, and we are working down these commanders here. Mm, good use. How's it going over there, Thelros? Uh, it's fine. I managed to healing with my pet, and the traps are working quite well. Oh, nice. All right, we are managing over here. Probably not doing as well as you, because uh, you have your little pet helper there, which uh, pets are actually much more stronger now with Helm's Deep, at least the uh, Lore Master pets are. Mm -hmm. So definitely good news if you're in the, uh, the correct line there. Alright. And work down another commander. By the way, that force you see in the distance there is just the advance force. <laughs> the, the main one is just even further away. Yeah, there is a uh, force there in the distance, and that is the current force that's actually uh, sending in troops. And you can actually fire uh, siege equipment onto them, and that will decrease the number of uh, enemies that will actually come at you which uh, can be nice. So you can actually also get a good measure of just how many enemies are coming your way. All right, we have our first uh, side objective. Let's go ahead and rush over there and uh, get these stone obstructions uh, taken care of. 
I believe we're familiar with this side objective. I believe so, yeah. Basically, uh, if I remember right, you just have to tell each of these archers to fire at the uh, the stone carriers that are trying to um, make obstructions. So, yeah, just have to command each one to fire. And uh, it's very hard to do solo, at least with the current balance of things. I'm a reminder, everything is subject to change with beta. But uh, it does get fairly easy with a duo, which is nice. Still can be challenging, still easy to lose, and uh, yeah, just a lot of fun. It definitely uh, diverts uh, the combat, and so it's kind of like, um, these are kind of like the side missions in skirmishes, but they're much, much more diverse, and uh, typically much uh, more difficult than the uh, average skirmish objective. Bear in mind that during this, enemies will come up the pass that have already they've already been attacking to try and kill the archers. So you need to defend them too. That's right. Yeah, you have to defend the archers from uh, assaulting orcs, and you could see Athelros back there def doing that in the background. But I'm just too important for that. I gotta tell these archers what to do. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> we have killed uh, four out of fifteen of the stone carriers, which is good. Silly Dunlendings. All right. And uh, we are hopefully making our way. And you can see uh, another thing to talk about are these uh, advancement things. And uh, they go from bronze all the way to platinum. If you remember at the beginning, I was talking about the different achievements. And uh, basically, the better you do, the uh, more achievements you, uh, the farther you get. And see, we just changed to silver there. And uh, if you do well in these side objectives, it actually increases your overall merit score, which is nice because you get objectives for both the side objectives and the main one. So doing well in the side objectives is very important to get the uh, the most out of your uh, your points and your rewards for the battle. And you also get uh, more experience the better you do as well, so it can help you in your leveling process, which is nice, of course. And it looks like there are a lot of enemies charging that archer over there, Thoros. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, they're all getting killed by the soldiers. Okay, that's good. All right. Dead and fire. We have killed Over eight out done. of fifteen. Yep, yeah, halfway done. And there's gambling doing absolutely nothing, <laughs> which is most of what he does in this battle. But he is an old man, so you know, can't give him too much heat for that, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Ten out of fifteen. All right, a third, two thirds done, and uh, just have to fire a few more times. And we are in gold now, so we're getting very close to the uh, the top reward here which is very good of course and uh, yeah we're getting ready to work down the final little bit of them and hopefully our uh, main force can survive it looks like we've lost on uh, we haven't lost anything from soldiers uh, commanders or banners uh, all three are important to your scores that's definitely something to be worried about with side objectives because you can come back <laughs> and do them and find that you've lost a bunch of soldiers in the meantime yeah, it's definitely important to, uh, sometimes you actually have to leave one of your allies while uh, one of you finish up a side objective just to make sure that you can actually get it done. And uh, we are pretty close to getting it done here. Uh, just a few yep. more to take down. Here come the final three. That's right. So hopefully we will get them done here and uh, make sure everything goes well. All right, 13... 14, we 15, go. there we go. So Platinum. you can see that gave us 165 marks, 47 medallions, and uh, 60,000 experience, which is definitely a really good thing there. And uh, now we can go back to our sides, and you can see that also increased us almost all the way to silver on our overall objective. Um, typically, there are about uh, three of those side objectives per battle, though. That is not set in stone, though, that's been changing back and forth a little bit throughout beta. Um, but that's a pretty... That's been the number, pretty much, uh, in general. Alright, you, uh, you notice that these barriers uh, actually slow down the enemies, and even slow down their attack a little bit as well. So definitely important to uh, have the soldiers behind the barriers, and you can also actually place your own barriers. So you can slow down enemies before uh, they come to you, and you can actually let the archers shoot them down, which is very effective. 
And uh, I wouldn't worry if you, that side objective seemed quite easy. There are some other ones in this battle and the other battles that are ridiculously hard. Yes, and this is the uh, first battle, so it's uh, the most uh, easy uh, currently. It hasn't always been the most easy, but it is currently balanced to be the easiest epic battle. And uh, that is good. It allows players to get a kind of uh, entry in. And I believe there's also a tutorial planned, but I don't think that it's been released yet. I believe from the current build it is in, but you need to get to the point in the epic to do it. Yeah, you have to actually go through the epic, which will not, most likely not be how it is in live, because obviously you'll be level 10 going through, which uh, is very important to allow new players that have no idea about any kind of grouping system to actually know how epic battles work, because these actually unlock uh, 10 levels before skirmishes, which is uh, kind of surprising, actually. Right, let's place a bear trap down here. Which uh, does a lot of damage, and sometimes even kills him. <laughs> All right, we are working down here still, and we just made it over into silver, so that is definitely good. And it looks like I have a little break here. Yep, Amir's voice calls out, "They are thinning. We will soon have a break. Make the best of it." All right. So uh, during the break, you can place catapults. Um, place barricades, do all sorts of stuff that can be really effective. You can also, gives you a moment to uh, look over each of your soldiers, see if any of them need a heal, like that soldier in the front, and um, you can give them uh, extra defense and stuff like that, which is very important in the epic battle, of course. And let's go ahead, and uh, Hobbit presents still work in epic battles, so we're going to go ahead and roll some. <laughs> All right, max power and morale, that's always effective. All right, they are now marching on the other side. Oh, I just got a landscape soldier token. That could come in f effective in this battle, so definitely helpful. All right. Well, that was a mistake. Did you fall? I, no, I placed a catapult in a completely wrong area. Oh. And you can see they uh, just directed ladders there, so that is a later objective. Alright, and the Thelros is taking the closest position once again, showing, making me walk all the way across. That is a terrible place for a catapult. Why'd you do that? I, I, I thought you couldn't do it. I was just messing around all with right, it. Alright, let's... Can you deconstruct him? Uh, I think you have to be a higher engineering to deconstruct him. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So that was a waste. <laughs> No worries, I got another one. And I am the only person who can use them. Currently, yes, you are, because you're three points ahead of me. And you're probably going to rub that in until the end of time. I will. See? See what I have to deal with, everyone? Alright, and there's the oncoming horde once again, getting ready to assault us. And you can see them very faintly in the distance there. It is a little dark, though, to see just how many orcs are actually out there. Which, according to Turbine, which this battle, that's not the case because they're still uh, grouping up, but uh, there will be uh, 30,000 orcs on screen in the final battle, which is just amazing. It's just a breathtaking sight when you see it. So, definitely we'll be uploading that video uh, hopefully later today, actually. The, the plan is to have these up as soon as possible to give you guys the sneak peek in uh, what Turbine has been crafting. Um, and it has been very hard to uh, keep this a secret, obviously, through the NDA because we are, um, basically they can actually ban our accounts uh, if we divulge anything, which is very important because um, Turbine does use the beta period to actually make huge, huge changes in the game. They listen to their players very well and uh, everything changes from the first build all the way to final. And uh, it's definitely been true with this beta. There have been some major, major changes which are mostly for the better, so definitely a good thing that they are taking the time to make everything as good as possible for us. Alright, and if you've noticed, uh, at least for the champion, the actual combat speed is much, much faster paced, and uh, that is really good. Cooldowns are less, um, all that stuff, so it makes you feel much more intense in the uh, fight and makes it feel uh, much more quicker and uh, more entertaining. So definitely a good thing there. And uh, I think we might actually, um, we'll see what happens here, but I'm going to try to add some people to our call 
to uh, get some allies once we have a break here, which might be a while because there are a lot of enemies coming forward. And one cool thing is the champion I don't think actually has a limit on the number of targets he can do damage anymore if you have a fully upgraded yellow line, which is <laughs> comes in handy, uh, as you can imagine. Alright, let's place another tripwire here. Yeah, that's right, you're going to be stunned, buddy. You can see they work instantaneously to stun the enemies here. Alright, we still haven't lost any soldiers. That's definitely a good thing. It's actually, there's the commander. I know there's one back here. Is he the commander for all of them? No, he's not. Let's just go ahead and upgrade their damage and stuff. And there's the other commander. Make haste. You can actually, uh, if you're an officer, you can actually switch out their weapons and uh, give all your soldiers major, major perks, and they can really uh, turn the tide of battle. I'd say the uh, one that probably has the least influence on the battle is the Vanguard, and that's just because uh, it's really only stuff for your character, which uh, can make you feel a lot more epic, but it does uh, cause the battles to be a little bit harder because you don't have the buffs uh, all around, and that might change with uh, future balancing in the beta. And still very busy. Alright, we have a defense of the statue. Now this one's very tough because there are actually five uh, siege trolls that try to attack the uh, the, t the uh, statue here, which you can see the... Uh, let's actually run out to the front to see this statue in all his glory. You can see him there, blowing the horn. Definitely an important thing to defend. Alright, and let's go ahead and upgrade. Gives this commander some perks once they unlock later on. And, uh, oh, you got a nice trebuchet there. Great job, Shadows. And here comes the trolls. So this will be a good time to use it. Yeah, uh, just maybe, yeah. <laughs> Alright. There's the stun. Can you fire it on him? I uh, just did. Oh, awesome. That took out quite a bit of his morale there. Definitely nope, good. And he is a fast troll. <laughs> and a dead troll. And now a dead troll. The best kind of troll, of course. Are you able to use this? Um, yeah, I can use it. Let's go ahead and crank faster there. Alright, I'll leave you to that one. <laughs> no, you can you can do it. I need to be in the uh, the trenches here. Oh, nice. Nice shot. Helps they're all bunched up. <laughs> it does, yes. yes that, that helps. Let me stun them all here. Oh, that doesn't get old. Alright, let's do our champion stun here. Alright, we're already almost to silver just with that one troll, so this uh, this one can be fairly easy, but uh, it's, it's very hard in the final wave, especially when you actually have two trolls get sent to you at the same time, and that was a nice hit. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely a nice hit there. Here comes that troll. Alright. Oh, he came right to you. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a lot better with the cap hole this time. Yeah, I got a nice stun on him. All right, and he's dead. Yeah, the catapult definitely helps. I think that's actually a trebuchet, though. Anyway. It says more catapult on it. <laughs> oh, well. Naming isn't always everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that is a catapult, because you crank it backwards. All right. Archer. Archer recruit. You're about to die. And uh, we are making our way to gold here on our side objective. Just one more troll, I think, and we'll get to gold or real close to it. At least. Here comes the troll. All right, so let's take him down. You can see how uh, there's so many ways to work with each other now in epic battles. The classes have uh, ways to work together, especially with the uh, side things. And uh, just a reminder, this is beta. That's why the troll's being all crazy. But maybe he's a mountain troll. I don't know. <laughs> He's a parkour troll. <laughs> Hardcore parkour troll. Oh, right, there are a ton of enemies up here, actually. We need to work on taking them down and uh, give the commander some buffs here. It's time to use the signature move. Indeed, summon all your pets. You can 
see things can get very, very hectic here. As we have noticed. Watch for that troll coming. Yeah, there will be two trolls. Nope, we have lost coming. a soldier. All right, well, that's okay. What's one soldier in the grand scheme of things? Oh, and here come the trolls. There's two this time. Oh, it looks like we lost two soldiers now. <laughs> yep, here he is. And once you start losing soldiers, the battle does get uh, much more difficult. Um, so you definitely have to keep an eye on that and uh, try to keep from losing them for sure. All right, they are coming down the center straight for the main gate. It's probably right. a good thing since uh, the soldiers will get a break. Yeah, that is definitely a good thing to give the soldiers a break here. And, oh, uh, I flew. F <laughs> yeah, th thankfully I ran into uh, a rock wall here, so it's not too bad. Okay. All right. Last One troll. One more troll. And here he comes. He's running. <laughs> Calm down, troll. Run into the sun trap. Oh, he ran around it. Well, not you special. You know what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> now you went flying. Indeed I did. Alright. Okay, 10 set damage has been done. This is going to be done. Alright. And we've lost three. <laughs> we did lose three soldiers, but we did complete the side objectives. So definitely a cool thing. As long as you complete side objectives, you still get lots of XP and lots of rewards, so definitely a good thing. Alright, now we'll run to the other side and hope to save our team here. And but as you can see, it can get very tricky. <laughs> Indeed it can. And we are preparing for our final wave here as uh, the orcs are making their way up. And here's the first batch. And you can see the archers launching up their first volley. Lots of warriors and archers making their way, trying to get to Helm's Deep. They have a long way to go, though. <laughs> As this right. is just the dike. Alright, let's have them make haste into that. And this other commander, damage and heal. Right. I'll dismantle one of these catapults and bring it over. Uh, I won't use it. I will, though. <laughs> okay. And we are almost to gold on our overall objective. And uh, they are thinning, Amir cries out. We will soon have a break. Make the best of it. Alright. We will definitely do that. Alright, tripwires are so much fun. down here. Alright, just a few more waves and I think we'll have a break. And We've lost three soldiers now. Not too bad. Those when trolls consider, definitely did a number. Yeah, those trolls definitely did a number, but when you consider how many men actually died at Helm's Deep, not <laughs> too bad of a number. Especially the ones that died at the uh, fairly unprotected dike. And they are still coming fairly regularly. But no matter, we're taking him down pretty well. Getting very close to gold here. I believe this is one of the last uh, waves here before our side objective comes up. And we're about 87% through the battle here. Those are not always entirely accurate, but they have become more accurate. Right behind them, here comes another wave. They'd synchronize a little better. They might do a little better. But luckily they don't, because otherwise we'd be overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. right, the 
commander is going after the commander as you can see here it's definitely cool that the AI actually um, thinks and goes after what they uh, they think they need to take down and so you can actually focus down different enemies when uh, let's say your commander is down real low you can really focus on trying to take down the enemy commanders to keep yours alive or if uh, your banners are starting to get low you can take down sappers and uh, keep them from going down and uh, let's go ahead and do a quick repair here just to make sure we can survive All right. we are working them down alright and there's oh our boy. side one this is one of the hardest side missions powder at the gate the enemies bring huge explosives trying to uh, powder down the gate and you can take this rope this handy dandy rope down and uh, get ready to defend and uh, this is where engineering skill comes in handy because you can actually dismantle the explosives quicker if you have uh, the engineering skill and you can actually change uh, which lines you are um, at any given time which is comes in handy because uh, you can then um, actually cater to what you need in the moment Right, and uh, we oh he placed the explosive so we got our first explosive over here and, uh, definitely important to take those down and if you do them in twos then they go down uh, I'd say probably three times as fast it feels more than just once all right and uh, another sapper coming in and they come in at uh, strange angles trying to uh, be safe uh, and uh, place their explosives oh. as effective as they can and he's placing those pretty uh, pretty well he's doing a good job there All right. and, uh, there you can see the commander going after the commander there let's go ahead and give him some extra damage and uh, some haste change actually. my pet to do the damage since healing isn't very much help here yeah well there is another sapper coming in on the side over here Alright, you actually didn't place an explosive that time, so you can actually keep them from uh, doing that. And you know what? Let's actually build this. Up. Nope, we've lost commander. Yeah, we did, but uh, not too bad. All right, two sappers coming in on the right. Nope. And both, oh, black, uh, large one. Yep. All right, got him down. Okay, let's see. And uh, that is Lore Master Fire, by the way, <laughs> not the enemy. Yeah, I think your pet is definitely helping take those out much <laughs> more effectively. And uh, here comes in the Urukai boss. He has 72k morale. And he's going right for the commander. So we got to make sure to take him down real quick here. Yep, and here comes another sapper along All the way. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, heal in the case to get more do damage. Okay. He's dead. Yep, and a lot coming in on the right at the same time. Definitely look out for the explosives, make sure they don't place any. And here's a small one. Yep, gotta take them out quick. Alright, let's look for any other explosives, make sure we don't get any. And there are two more coming in on the right. This is where things get really hectic. Okay, we are in gold right now though on this mission, so that is definitely helpful. It is a medium and a small. There is a medium and a small. Let's take out the medium first, hopefully. All right, now the small. Come on. And go. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> that was close. All right, another sapper on the right here. And uh, so far, we haven't actually lost anything, which is better than it oh normally is. Do you see that blister shot? That was well placed. Very good job. Oh, there are a lot coming in. Luckily, these are just Uruks. Yes, that is definitely helpful, for sure, and uh, nice for champions who do very good enemies. Alright. Actually, I don't want to place the trap because we're almost done here. 
And we're almost to Platinum, just this final wave, hopefully, and then we will be to our Platinum State. And that was very nicely placed. Nah, I missed one, but oh well. <laughs> one is a small price to pay. All right, and there's oh, a Platinum it. Reward. Platinum. We got taken all the way up to Gold on our overall objective and uh, completed Powder at the Gate. So there is a uh, showing of that, and let's... Uh, Go and uh, defend our places here. Let's kill this orc off, though. All I right. think that's the smoothest run of that mission we've had. I think so. So definitely a great job by uh, us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've lost five soldiers now. I'm not sure where they're coming from. Yeah, well, I think they might be on this side, but if you're wrong, let's go ahead and give our commanders buffs to make sure that they're doing well. See my AoEs went all the way over to him over there, which uh, is nice. The extra range on champion AoEs. And let's see more in there. All right, we're focusing down the archer. And uh, if you lose a commander, it does take away a lot more of uh, your. Um, bar and if you lose banners those take about the same as soldiers so definitely very important keeping up the morale of your troops and all that stuff alright and, and we completed it. with 97,000 XP we got three points towards bronze three points towards silver three points towards gold and uh, we got a medal for doing it and a gambling's voice cries out their main forces march fall back to the Hornburg yes and uh, that is this was just a hold off move as we make our way to the uh, wall that you can see there in the distance so definitely an awesome battle here going on and a great way to kick off the uh, new system to epic battles so thank you very much for Eth Ethelros for joining me here for mm -hmm. this uh, first battle alright and uh, as after this loading screen we will see our rewards here so you can see this uh, new uh, pop-up system we got uh, gold and uh, platinum and platinum in the other two and gold overall and uh, I did get a bronze reward so let's go ahead and see what my uh, bronze reward was I got uh, an officer's enduring token so that is very good there and uh, unlocked more rewards and uh, I also got more points I believe actually I'm about the same but uh, I will be getting more points in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you guys again for another episode as we make our way through this amazing beta that uh, Turbine has put together for the amazing world that is coming with Helm Steep. They have done a fantastic job crafting the world. While there are some changes that uh, cause some controversy, there are definitely some good things coming as well. So be sure to uh, keep an eye on my channel. Keep an eye on Lotro Players. As we break away all the news this Saturday, uh, which will be um, the week of the 4th uh, of November, this Saturday, there will be um, a talk through on Lotro Players News of our thoughts on the NDA. So you definitely will not want to miss that as the uh, Lotro Players News team will be talking through their impressions of the uh, beta. We will obviously be saving uh, any criticism thoughts until the uh, review which will happen about a month after release. So things are going to be happening real quick. Thank you guys so much for watching as we've been making our way through this uh, amazing zone. So we will talk to you guys again real soon. PVMP and dang subscribe.